This is it. Why so many guards? Let her pass. Amphiris, if this is how you treat humans, I can see why you need so many gods. These aren't humans. They are animals. An animal should be in cages. Dead bodies of civilians outside, a tortured corpse at your feet? The only animal I see around here is you. A human did this to me while I slept. When they came to kill me, I survived. But they slaughtered my daughter like an animal. Humans don't act with logic or reason. Good or bad, they are driven by a will to survive. A trait we implanted to ensure efficiency. But that will become a kindled flame of insurrection. You led a rebellion yourself in Elysium. So I know you understand. If we don't act, the city will burn, and many more lives will be lost. I don't see an army marching on Poseidon. This one said they plan to launch an attack. Someone needs to destroy the resistance before that happens. That's not a small request. Despite what you think, all the humans aren't a threat. It is the only path I see. But you are the Dicastis. Only you can choose the correct course of action. Killing people will just make the fire spread faster. Now, if we destroy their supplies and their weapons, they can't oppose the issue. I admire your optimism. But I fear it will not be enough. However, it's your decision to make. Just leave it to me. I'll send a message they won't forget. Very well. You'll find the traitorous humans at an abandoned farmstead. Return to me when the situation is resolved. Resistance if they have no supplies.
The Castis. I'm glad to see you return safely. I almost considered sending a regiment of my guard after you. That would have been overkill. You can never be too careful when dealing with violent humans. Come, tell me, has their resistance been quashed? I destroyed their supplies and equipment. You believed you saved lives by being merciful. But the truth is that more will die in the end. I promise you, they're no threat. You underestimate them. Yes, you've taken their means of striking now. But they will regroup and find more weapons. All you have done is delay the inevitable. Just one more Archon to go. Maybe I should just do their jobs too. Arena seems like a strange place to find an Archon. Ah, the Castis! Thank the stars! I was beginning to lose all hope! Atlas said you needed help. You don't understand the responsibility on my shoulders. It's my job to concoct entertainment for the masses. But I fear the crowd have grown bored of my grand spectacles. I've seen some good plays. And some bad ones. We need more than a simple play. If the audience leave my shows bored and restless, who knows what they'll start plotting. You think they'll become violent? My purpose is to keep them preoccupied so they can't be violent. If your shows have become boring, you just need to get more creative. Oh, the humans are primitive. Their taste's basic. They like life's simpler joys. Blood, tragedy, Romans, that sort of thing. So give the people what they want. What they want, yes. 
Yes, I can hear the cheers now! The legendary Dicastis Cassandra takes on Atlantis' finest warriors! You must take part in my next event! Sounds like a Bangration. I can definitely help with that. Not exactly. But I was inspired by your efforts in Elise. I know you'll do an exemplary job entertaining the crowds as you did then. If we pull this off, we'll be the talk of the city! It's worth a try. Welcome one, welcome all to yet another miraculous show here in our beloved city! Tonight we have a very special guest! Tell me Castis of Atlantis is here to entertain you! Our hero's third talent comes from the whole of the Atlantis. So might the Castis overcome the power of the Atlantean God? Let's find out! All right, Cassandra. Be entertaining. That's what he said. Not a Pangration. Our valiant hero's next challenge fast approaches. A champion bested by none in the city. No mercy, no guilt. Will this be too much for even the Dicassis to overcome? has been bested! 
Our mighty Dicastis is victorious and the crowd have spoken. But will she show mercy or will she spill the blood we want? If you don't appease the crowd, I fear what Gadiros will do. It was an honor to fight you, Dicastis. You don't deserve to die just for losing. Our merciful Vicastis has passed judgment. But do not dismay! Our champion lives to fight another day for you, the audience. And here we are, the end of today's event. Next to face our Vicastis' judgment, the very scum that taints our city. By the gods! What is this? For the good of Atlantis, today bear witness to the guilty and condemned given one final chance at redemption. They will be honored to die at the hands of our guest. Enough! I am not doing this! Mm. Uh, fear not, friends! We will make sure justice is delivered. Well, that was an unmitigated disaster. You said fight, so I fought. The problem is that I didn't say fight. I said be as entertaining as possible. This won't help the relations between your people. The humans will see what's going on eventually. The games have failed. The humans are restless, and it's only a matter of time before they make their own entertainment. Their hunger for violence is insatiable. You just need to keep surprising them. Think like a human, not an issue. That's what I tried to do. But you showed the criminals mercy, and the crowd reacted as I expected. Killing people who can't defend themselves isn't entertainment, it's slaughter. Their sacrifice helps us keep the peace and maintain order. Or it would have if you played along. What are you saying, Radirus? That my grand experiment has failed. There's nothing left to be done but start again and try for better results. The arena must be cleared. This is madness.
The Castis! Welcome back! I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the Underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded! You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order, for peace, for Atlantis! For Atlas, you mean. I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Dicastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Once Poseidon finds out what you've done, she won't let you get away with it. That is our way. The way of progress. You are not one of us. I've seen your compassion to those who dwell in this city. Perhaps our ways are not as perfect as Poseidon thinks they are. Parents do what they think is best, but it doesn't mean they're always right. We have to look after each other, no matter what we're told. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision, for the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Cassandra, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture? Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. The city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Nikastis, and for that, you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here. These devices are incredible. I almost feel like I can hear them speaking to me. <laughs> <laughs> 